Hello, welcome to Splashdown 2020. My name is Jing. I'm the module coordinator of the NUS Orbital Program, and I'll be the host for this event. For the benefit of those of you who are less familiar with the program, Orbital is an independent software development project course in NUS. This program gives students the opportunity to pick up software development skills using resources on the web and complete their software project in teams of two under the guidance of the teaching team. The program starts at the beginning of the summer vacation with the leave off workshop, which is meant to help the teams to get started with their projects. Afterwards, the teams will go through the iterative development process with three milestones during the vacation. Towards the end of the program, we have a closing event, Splashdown, to celebrate what the teams have achieved, and it is the event that you're watching now. But before I go into more details about Splashdown, let me emphasize that this is a truly special iteration of Orbital. For this iteration, our enrollment has increased from 500 to 800, and a total of 383 teams managed to complete the program at various level of achievements. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 situation, we were unable to host many of the face-to-face -face events as before. As such, we really appreciate the effort from the students for completing the program and the continued support from our alumni and collaborators for making this program happen. Now, let me share with you a bit more details about Splashdown itself. Traditionally, it is a face-to-face -face event consisting of three segments. The first segment is a poster session in which all Orbital students will gather and showcase their projects. There's also a voting process during this segment which helps to determine some of the awards in the program. Afterwards, we'll have a few invited talks from our collaborators to share information about what the students could do after Orbital. Towards the end of the event, we'll announce the winners of the awards and take good photos with everyone. But for this year, since we are unable to hold Splashdown as a physical event, we have consolidated the posters and videos of all the projects into our gallery, and the link to the gallery can be found at the lower right corner of this video and in the description below. Please do check out the projects if you have not done so already. In addition, we also had a 48-hour online voting process which has concluded a few hours before the event. As such, for this event, the main agenda will be the messages from our collaborators and the announcements of the award winners. Without further ado, let's start with the first message, which is from our long-term collaborator, the NUS Overseas Colleges Program. The NUS Overseas Colleges is an unprecedented program designed to nurture innovation leaders of the future. Our mission is to spark entrepreneurial thinking in students and impart them with skills, tenacity and passion to make an impact in our world. I had the opportunity to go to Prague and Israel where we built the confidence to turn our idea into a startup. Interactions with innovative leaders in North America gave me new perspectives. The NOC experience was transformative. Working for one year in the fast-paced Chinese economy inspired me to not just create, but iterate on better deep tech products. We saw how companies in Silicon Valley were using technology to solve everyday problems. And that's what inspired us to start Castle Buddhist in Singapore. The journey doesn't stop when we're back. We continue to be part of the NUS startup community here. Today, we have over 3,000 alumni who have founded close to 700 companies. We provide students with access to startup communities in the most innovative ecosystems around the world. Beyond NOC, we have comprehensive support for aspiring entrepreneurs to help them bring their startup ideas into reality. If what you want to do is to make an impact, we welcome you to join us on the journey that's NUS Overseas Colleges. Take a good look. Know who they are? They are disruptors. Pioneers of new industries. Makers of the future. Trailblazers and thought leaders. They change the way we shop. Give care. 
create value. And experience the world. We are entrepreneurs and change makers. We turn ideas into startups and challenges into opportunities. You too can make the world a better place. Through NUS Overseas Colleges. Bagus. For those of you who are interested in technical entrepreneurship, NOC is really a great program for you. Don't forget that as an Orbital student, you have already developed a piece of software which can be commercialized and you can request for a testimonial from us for your NOC application. Next, we have a second message which is from PayPal. Hi everyone, my name is Jerry So. I'm head of PayPal Singapore Development Center. Every day in SDC, we have over 300 technologists working and developing some of the most exciting products to serve our customer globally. We also have a research team that seek to bring cutting edge technologies in the area of AI and cybersecurity. We're in a challenging and uncertain time where I understand most people are working or learning from home or practice social distancing while in public setting. And at PayPal, we are doing the same as well. And while many companies are cutting back on jobs and internships, PayPal continues to provide internship opportunities to students like yourself. Our hiring and onboarding processes have adapted to new normal to provide unique virtual experience. New hire can expect their laptop to be delivered to them within a day or two from their joining and they will be paired with mentors and buddies who will regularly check in with them to help them settle while working from home. Digital transformation is accelerating at a rapid pace. While the future might look bleak, but I can assure you tech is going to play a big role and you should feel excited about the opportunity ahead of you. At PayPal, we are looking for students who are passionate about development work or would like to acquire knowledge in cybersecurity to intern with us. Please apply through the NUS Talent Connect portal if you're interested. Lastly, I want to say on behalf of PayPal, I wish you all the best and stay safe. Thank you. Since the video message has already contained all the essential information about the internship at PayPal, I won't be repeating it. But similarly, as an Orbital student, you can request for a testimonial from us for your internship application. Alright, that's all for the messages from our collaborators. Now let's move on to the announcement of the awards. The first award is for the advisors in the Orbital program who have done a good job in guiding the students to complete their projects. And this award goes to Neo Kai Jun and Sun Bang Jie. Both Kai Jun and Bang Jie are senior advisors and they have supervised 13 and 12 teams respectively. According to the feedback from Kai Jun's team, he has been really helpful and encouraging throughout the program. He has also given very useful feedback to the teams to help them improve their projects. As for Bang Jie, he has also received very positive feedback from his teams. They really appreciated the fact that he has given deep and detailed feedback and really pushed them to move forward. As the coordinator of the program, I would also like to thank them for taking good care of the students. Coming up next, we have the Honorable Mention Awards for the Orbital teams. The three winners of this award are determined based on the results of the online voting process and will be announced in alphabetical order of the team names. For each winner, we'll show their project poster and video so that you have a good idea of what they have achieved. Alright, the first winner of the Honorable Mention Award is Team Ginger Bradman, consisting of Patrick Jericho Gustandi and Joe Teddy Joshua Sanjaya. 
The project of this team is an action-adventure platformer game in 2D pixel art style. And here is the video from the team. Hi, we're Team Gingerbread Man, and what you just saw is a game that we made for Orbital 2020. It's our first game ever, and it's called Sheraton, an action RPG platformer with a linear story. In this game you'll find art assets fully handmade by us, and we started not knowing how to draw at all. Sheraton also features the main character that we can control. She can dash and grapple to fly across the maps at high speeds. We also have a town where players can relax from adventures and talk to the town folk. Next, we have a tutorial section that teaches the player the basic controls of the game. It also has dialogue and story to keep the players interested. This game also has mobs that you can kill and mess around with. This boss monster is the king of dungeon spiders, and you know that because he's wearing a crown. He's animated with basic IK for each individual leg, and a bunch of dynamic raycasts to decide where the legs should step. In addition, there's sound in the game, courtesy of some people from Twitter and SoundCloud. To support the player through the game, we've implemented some essential features. The settings panel allows the player to customize certain aspects of the game, such as audio adjustment, as well as the option to modify key bindings for certain actions. Such customization will improve the player's experience of the game. Moreover, we have developed an inventory system that keeps track of the items currently owned by the player to be utilized when required. These items are categorized in order to allow the player to be able to locate them easily. We have also included a mini feature to visually display the effect of equipping certain items, enhancing its ability to make more informed decisions when equipping such items. Finally, we have implemented an avenue for the player to purchase and sell items. Players can trade items with certain characters before progressing further into the game. And with that, our four months of game dev has been summarized. For the future of Sheridan, we're not really sure if we're gonna bring it all the way to completion, because that would take years for sure. But still, we hope it was enjoyable for you to watch us progress. Thanks for watching! What you saw just now is the video from the first winning team, Ginger Bradman. Now let's move on to the second winner. The second winner of the Honorable Mention Award is the team Sandit, consisting of Liao Xingpeng and Dan Rui En, Joshua. Their project is a web app which aims to make parcel delivery more efficient by getting the commuters to help with deliveries. And here is the video from the team. I'm Joshua from Team Sandit and I'll be providing a sender's point of view. So first of all, we have a simple about page. Now let us log in with Google. Once we are logged in, we'll be routed to the dashboard and in the dashboard, you will be able to see your current activity. Next, I'll be scheduling a job. Once the job has been scheduled, I'll be able to see the job appear on under the job listings page. If the job belongs to me, the job will show a cancel job button if I want to cancel the job. And if the job doesn't belong to me, it will show a accept job button if I want to accept the job. Users are also able to cancel their job after they have scheduled if the job has not been accepted by a deliverer. Hi, I'm Singpong from Team Sendit and I'll be bringing you through the deliverer's point of view. First, let's do a quick login with Google. Upon logging in, you'll be brought to the dashboard. But as a deliverer, 
you would want to go to the job listings page. Here, you can find a bunch of jobs for you to accept. After choosing the job you want, you click Accept Job. Then a pop-up will appear for you to fill in your contact number. This is so that the sender of this job would be able to contact you when you want to do delivery. There is also form validation here to ensure you fill in your contact number properly. Upon clicking Confirm, it will bring you back to the Job Listings page. You can then go to our profile and click Jobs Accepted. Here you'll be able to view the job that we just accepted and including the job details. Once a deliverer accepts the job, I'll be able to see the status change of the job to accepted as shown over here and I'll be able to view the deliverer's past feedback and currently the deliverer has no feedback yet. Meanwhile for the deliverer, after he has picked up the package, he can head back to the dashboard and click on jobs accepted. This will bring him to the jobs accepted page where he will see the job that he had just accepted. Here, he had clicked on the picked up button, which will indicate that he has picked up the package. Once the deliverer has completed the delivery, he can then go back to the same page and click on completed. This will indicate that his job has been completed. He can then proceed to the job history page, where he can leave a feedback for his sender. Such feedback and rating system can be used in future as metrics to discourage abuse of the system. Once the deliverer marks the job as complete, I will also receive an email saying that my job has been complete. Once the deliverer has completed the job, the job will appear under job history of my jobs posted. Next, I will leave a feedback for the deliverer. As well as a rating. When the feedback has been left, I'm able to check my feedback by looking at the deliverer's past feedback. I'm also able to view my own feedback under user information in the profile section. Alright, that was the second winner of the award. Now let's move on to the last winner. The last winner of the Honourable Mention Award is Tim Viginti, consisting of Tarantino Abner Jr. Morales and Theodore Pinto. Their project is a mobile app called Snapsheet for checking finance in a simpler, more organized way. And their project video is as follows. Let's admit it, accounting your expenses is important, but we're never ready for it. Keeping receipts, messy. Scanning for cost figures, tiresome. And don't forget about that Excel file that can take you endless nights to make. Yes, accounting is dry, but it doesn't have to be. Introducing Snapsheet a minimalistic phone app with all the keeping, scanning, and excelling done with just your fingertips. Snapsheet is a bookkeeper that settles all accounting needs, be it for you, your friends, your family, or your company, or all at the same time. Have a quick glance of what Snapsheet can offer you.
managing your expenses efficiently with Snapsheet that can start now. All right, that was the third and last winner of the Honorable Mention Awards. Coming up next, we have the Judges' Choice Award for the Artemis teams. This is the top award of the program and it is determined by a panel of judges consisting of faculty members and industrial experts. There are also three winners for this award and they will be announced in alphabetical order of the team names. For each winner, we will also show their project poster and video. Without further ado, the first winner of the Judges' Choice Award is Team Elsewhere, consisting of Le Hu Man and Max Chan Yu Hang. This team has created a single-player PC turn-based strategy game set in a futuristic fantasy dystopia world. And this is their project video. Are you a fan of classic turn-based strategy games like Final Fantasy Tactics and Fire Emblem? Or simply someone who loves a bit of a challenge and a good story? Take a trip down memory lane and relive the thrill in a new epic adventure elsewhere in full 32-bit retro glory. Set in a resource-scarce dystopia, the Astra Corporation emerges with a new solution to the world's energy crisis. But could Astra be related to the amnesia reported in the cities using their technology? Follow a cast of unlikely heroes to find out the truth behind Astra and perhaps the truth behind themselves. Powered by Unity Game Engine, Graphic Scale and Adobe Illustrator, Elsewhere is feature-packed and promises hours of excitement. Immerse yourself in the dystopian future of Elsewhere, supported by enchanting music and original character art that breathes life into the 32-bit world. Rediscover the turn-based strategy game genre with fresh game mechanics like mini-games, map capture points, and more. Whether you're a casual player or someone looking for a bit more of a challenge, we're sure there's something for you in Elsewhere. Meet the cast of five endearing characters and discover their rich personalities and backstories across four playable levels and more to come. Master their skills and roles to bring out their potential on the battlefield. Put your skills to the test in a challenging single-player campaign powered by pathfinding algorithms and enemy AI with three difficulty levels. Fight battles your way by choosing from a wide selection of weapons, items and abilities. Now, it's your turn for a nostalgic adventure. Can you emerge victorious? Find out in the new tale elsewhere, available for download on PC today. But wait, isn't this a software engineering project? <laughs> Don't worry, we got you covered. Bet you are dying to know more about the technical aspect of Elsewhere. Elsewhere's code base is built on robust software engineering practices and patterns. Let's run through a couple of more interesting ones. So, we encountered a lot of problems with our turn-based battle system. We went through lots and lots of trial using infinite loops, coroutines, and even discrete event manager from CS2030. Yes, the shopping one. In the end, state machine pattern came to the rescue. There are multiple game states, such as uh, player start turn, player end turn. These child game states override virtual methods in the abstract parent state class to define their own implementation of the relevant methods. So, it's open to extension and close to modification. Another really useful pattern is the observer pattern. So useful that we use it pretty much everywhere in our code base. For example, when an item is clicked, listeners in the inventory panel and an inventory manager will listen for this click and carry out the relevant action, and in this case, equip or unequip the items. Sounds simple, but it did take us a while to figure out how to use the pattern properly in C Sharp. Thank you, YouTube. Intrigued? Interested? Fascinated? There's a lot more covered in our full technical design documentation, so check it out! Also, check out our detailed feature walkthrough to get a clearer picture of what Elsewhere is about. Of course, nothing beats actually playing the game for yourself. So, what are you waiting for? Download Elsewhere today! Alright, that was Team Elsewhere, the first winner of the award. 
Now let's move on to the second winner. The second winner of the Judges' Choice Award is Team Mala Ramen, consisting of Cai Jialing and Liu Chu Yue. Their project is called Orbits, which is a GPS social RPG mobile app that gamifies socialization and exploration for NUS students. Now let's take a look at their video. So this is our demo video for our game, Orbits. So the first screen is to create a new account. If you don't already have an account registered to your device ID, when the game loads, you will be shown this screen where you have to type in your name and faculty and year. So next, you will be shown the tutorial, which just teaches you how to interact with the game elements. As you can see, you can click on a player on the map to interact with them, view their profile and add them as a friend. You can also send emojis for other characters to see. You can also view your own room and customize your avatar. This is what the clothing customization looks like. You can customize your top, bottom and shoes and hat. You can also customize your skin, your eyes, your eyebrows and your hair. And this is just the rest of the tutorial. You can view the guild of the faculty that you are in and you can see the list of the members and view the profiles from the guild page. There's also a guild chat where you can leave your messages for the other guild members to see which is updated live. You can interact with NPCs on the map by tapping on them and viewing their dialogue. And some NPCs will give a quest and you can complete the quest by collecting the quest items. You can view your quest progress in the quest log. The quest log will also tell you where to visit the NPC to get your reward. The NPC has given us a pet. The pet will appear in your room after being unlocked and you can view the profile and take them out for a walk. Then you can see them on the map beside you. Isn't that cute? If you don't want to walk the pet anymore, you can go back to your room and let them rest. Now we're just completing a few more quests. So quests can also give coins as a reward. And now we're going to use the coins to visit the shop and buy some items. So the shop can be found at various places on the map and you can purchase items by tapping on them. Now the items will appear in your inventory and you can consume them if they are consumable. Now we are completing another quest. As you can see, this quest will give you a specific type of item, a clothing. And the clothing can be seen in the clothing tab in the inventory. From the inventory, you can equip the clothing onto your pet and each pet has specific clothes that they can wear and now the clothes will appear on the map and in your room you can also unequip the clothes if you don't want to wear them anymore you can view your friends from the friend tab in the bottom menu and you can see the profiles of your friends and remove them you can also filter your friends based on their year and faculty You can also view your friend requests and now we don't have any yet but we will be able to accept them. You can also search for your friend by their username and view their profile. And there will be an error given if you try to search for a user that does not exist. After we have gotten some friend requests, we can go in and accept them. The new friends will show up in the friends list. And we can also remove friends by viewing the profile and clicking remove friend. Then they'll be removed from the friends list. By clicking the settings button at the top right of the screen, we can change the settings and adjust the volume of the background music and sound effects. And you can view your own profile with the bottom left button. And you can also edit your profile including your MBTI type, your horoscope, and your likes and dislikes. 
At different times, the map will have a different appearance and different NPCs may only appear at certain times of the day. You can see that the map has changed to a day appearance and the NPC that was there no longer appears. On future logins, all information is saved on the server. So here are some cool features that we added. The shop has a special drink that once consumed can grant you a special pet. And we have a pet that your avatar can ride around in around the campus. Our game was planned to have GPS location, but we are unable to test that due to the COVID situation. However, this is a demonstration of how it works. So basically, the game senses your latitude and longitude and brings you to that correct place in campus. Here, we are demonstrating it using a fake GPS. And this is the demo for the multiplayer features. We can poke other players and they can immediately see it on their own phone. And we can immediately send and accept friend requests with little lag. And when you add or remove a friend, it is instantly updated on the other player's site as well. Thank you for watching our demo video. Hope you enjoyed it. What you saw just now is the video from the second winning team, Mala Ramen. And now we have only one last winner to be announced. The last winner of the Judges Choice Award is the team called The Free Market, consisting of Go Jun Wei and Wang Jun Long. Their project is a web application for retail investors to come together to upload and share their financial analysis. And their project video is as follows. As of today, there is a lack of free financial analysis platforms over the internet. To gain access to expert financial analysis data, you have to pay for it over websites like Simply Wall Street and Morningstar or consult expert financial advisors. Financial analysis data is not easily accessible and is not readily available for public consumption for the typical retail investor who does not wish to pay for such financial products. We believe that knowledge should be made free to all without having to pay a premium. Financial analysis data should be made freely available for retail investors so as to level the playing field between corporate and retail investors because the amount of information an investor has access to will determine if his position is in the black or in the red. We believe that we can achieve this goal by providing a free web platform to promote a culture of information and financial data sharing among retail investors. Introducing the free market. On our homepage, you can view stock summaries from selected tickers. View the top trending analysis of the day. Need to find some information of Netflix's stock? Just come up to the search bar and type in either the company's name or ticker symbol. And ta-da! Want analysis written by other users for Netflix's stock? Just scroll down. So this guy is saying to buy this stock, who is this guy and why should I trust him? You can find out more about him by clicking on their user icon to bring you to their profile page. Oh wow, you can even include your biography and LinkedIn? That's amazing! That's not all, got an opinion on the analysis, you can like, comment and even bookmark the analysis. So how do I make an analysis post? That's easy, just head over to create new analysis. You can even add financial data into your analysis. Not satisfied with your analysis? Go back to review or delete it. Ah, I see. That's very useful too. So how about news? Is there anywhere I can view the news? We have something for that as well. You can view the latest financial news and even search for news of companies that you're interested in. So head on down and give our web application a try today.
All right, that was the free market, which is the third and last winner of the Judges' Choice Award. With this, we are done with the award announcements. On behalf of the program, I would like to congratulate all the award winners. All the award winners will receive an award certificate and a prize sponsored by Google. We will follow up with the winners on the arrangement for collection. We have now come to the final segment of the event. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Orbital 2020 team for their hard work. I would also like to thank our mentors who have taken their valuable time out of their busy schedule to supervise the Artemis teams. Of course, I would also need to thank our collaborators for their continued support. Last but not least, I would like to thank all the teams who have put in great effort in the past few months to complete the project. You are the real star of this program. So instead of rolling the credits, I'm going to show the full list of teams by level of achievement. I hope that everyone could also take a moment to appreciate the effort of all the teams in this special iteration of Orbital. Now we have come to the end of our event. Please do watch out for announcements for the next iteration of Orbital. Thanks for the memories, take care and goodbye.